chasing hidden New York. The New York you wouldn't know unless you were in the know. So for this adventure, I actually chased it to the West Village, to the intersection of 7th Avenue and Barrow Street, where there's a huge Five Guys. Went inside, I saw a tourist, a French tourist, sitting there enjoying her burger and fries, and I asked her, do you know that there's actually a bar somewhere around here? No, I had no idea. <laughs> you know there's actually a bar upstairs? A bar. A bar. bar. There's no sign out there that's, no yeah, yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I couldn't figure out exactly where the entrance was, so I was asked one of the Five Guys, where is this bar, the Garrett? and he pointed to a staircase. So when I got there, I actually met the owner of the bar, Kyle O'Brien, who gave me a tour. The vibe in here is that you, you've walked into your, uh, your uncle's West Village house. He never had kids of his own, so he's always that cool uncle. And he's a world-traveled guy, and he just uh, he tosses you the keys when he's away. Okay. And uh, you're throwing a little house party with your friends. Very well-known artists have paintings there. This bar also has the most expensive bathroom door in all of New York. The value, $20,000. Dollars. Do they tell you why? Well, it's a, it's a famous artist, so that's the value of his work. And of course, there are the signature drinks. One of them was called the What What? And that was actually, they were, they were just being playful because the bartenders want people to really enjoy their time at the bar and it's also to kind of fit your mood. And the other drink that I had was the um, First Lady. So I asked Kyle, so what is in the First Lady? And what ingredients? And he said, Love. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what else is in here other than love? It's an egg white, gin, and citrus based so, Gail, I don't mean to debunk your whole story, but for those of us that live in Manhattan, this is not a hidden gem. I've been there a bunch of times. And the thing that sucks about speakeasies this, today is that you can Google it. So if you Google speakeasy West Village, it pops up on Foursquare, New York Post, Thrillist, Business Insider. This is why people who actually live in Manhattan don't go to these places, because there are a million tourists there. And if you go there on a Friday or a Saturday night, there's a line out the door of Five Guys. So it's not that much of a secret. Well, Tara, I appreciate you, you debunking my entire story. But when I was there, I actually spoke to a tourist who had absolutely no idea that there was a bar there so legitimately and that's the thing true New Yorkers know about this place so that's what you are and that's what you know people who aren't New Yorkers don't know about it and that's who I'm calling that's why I'm calling it a hidden gem for people who don't know you have to know it's there to go there <laughs>